Today is Wednesday, May 6th, and you're watching an SCW News Digest. Speeding while under the influence, that's what Stockton CHP officers say the driver of a nearly 80,000 pound truck was doing. The CHP says that their officers were conducting traffic enforcement on northbound I-5 just north of Pershing Avenue. The officer noticed a truck going 80 miles per hour in the number one lane approaching the officer's vehicle. The officer then conducted a traffic stop where he noticed that the suspect was under the influence of alcohol. We've gone now to our coverage of the coronavirus. The San Joaquin County Department of Public Health has now confirmed 579 cases, an increase of only three in, the, in a day, and also an increase in the number of recoveries, which is now at 459 from COVID-19. The death toll is at 27. Only 18 people are currently in hospital beds across all of San Joaquin County's eight hospitals. 142 have been hospitalized in total, and 56 of those patients since March have had to require intensive care. Coming up after the break, an annual event won't be happening in person this year, but it will still be going on raising funds for a good cause. We'll have more on that. Welcome back. It's usually around this time in May that the Child Abuse Prevention Council of San Joaquin County holds an annual Rubber Duck Derby downtown. Here is video from the event last year. Rubber ducks are normally plunged into the McLeod Lake, all to raise funds for the Child Abuse Prevention Council. Well, with the pandemic, the event won't be happening this year in person, but it's not stopping coordinators from raising funds. This year, instead, it will be digital. It is happening this Saturday at 2 p.m. People can purchase virtual ducks with proceeds benefiting the Child Abuse Prevention Council to see who wins the virtual race. The person in the first place will receive a $2,000 grand prize, while the person in second will receive $1,000 and $500 to the person in third. For more details, you can visit the Child Abuse Prevention Council's Facebook page or website at capcducks.com. Thank you for watching this SCW News Digest. I'll see you right back here tomorrow with more news from Stockton.